without showing you too much of Ninja, you can come and have a little look here, Leo, where, where we are. So right next to the crack, and sort of I can feel like this really nice, um, really nice feedback of his bone that I'm on something that's like, yeah, maybe it hasn't been explored in a while. Maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit stagnant in there and we're just getting blood flow into an area that's, that's stagnant and a little bit, a little bit dehydrated. Hey guys, so. Darcy Ninja here. Today we're talking the sacrum and the coccyx and how that can impact your lower back pain and potentially your hip and the mobility that you may not have through there because of these tight muscles. So what we're talking about is, I've got my little anatomy chart here. Let's put it down like this, Leo, so we can actually see it and how it is relevant to Ninja. So outer layers, you, you, there's more than just the glutes, right? There's our glute max and our glute med and these types of things, but then there's deeper ones, all these little, um, uh, deeper layers that externally rotate the pelvis and the hip. But then what's interesting is when we come up and we cut the sacrum uh, sagittally, you can see how many deeper muscles there are in here through the coccyx and the sacrum. Yeah, so we've got all these obtur obturatus internus, externus, um, sacrotuberous ligament, which is a really interesting one that attaches from the coccyx. So there's lots of layers of fascia and lots of layers of tendon and ligaments through here. And when we come and have a little look over at bones here, our skeleton, you can see all the little grooves and all the little bony landmarks that we have here that allow muscles and tendons to attach onto. And how there's a little, a big hole there, right? Well, you don't have a big hole when you touch your glute. There's actually a lot of muscles that you could see that attach on the inside through here as well. And how being tight and immobile through here is gonna impact the way we move our hips and the way we function and the way we move and also maybe some lower back pain that may be related to that as well or some sciatica stuff. So there's a whole lot um, there's a whole lot of stuff that's impacting our, our body when we're thinking of the sacrum and when we're talking about the coccyx. So we thought we'd do a video on it today and I'll show you how we treat it here at MMT. Yeah, it's a little bit different to um, what you might get from another remedial therapist. So first of all, it's about that first contact is using my PISI form, so the outside of my hand here, and connecting right on to that sacrum. So I'm pushing straight down to begin with and it's almost like a joint mobe. Sorry for interrupting your video guys, but I want to talk to you about the MMT Online Academy. So you might have been looking at Ninja and I doing our stuff for a long time now thinking, how good would it be to work at MMT? But you might be overseas. This is your chance to get exclusive content updates from us every single day to make you a better practitioner, more new customers, better results, and skyrocket your income. So if you want to be on the Inner Sanctum, get into the Academy. All you've got to do is dedicate five minutes a day to making yourself better, and it's just 28 bucks per month. How good's that? Seven bucks a week. Let's go! How does that feel, Ninja? Like I'm sort of mobilizing mm. that joint because when it does become immobilized or stuck or blocked um, we'll start to feel pain and irritation and you can get SIJ um, SIJ um, irritation pain or inflammation in that area as well and that's basically when it becomes um, immobile or blocked or stuck in there so what I'm going to do is just pin that and try and push into that area so it's not gonna be the most exciting part of this video is using um, my palm and my pizzy form to actually just sort of maneuver and get a little bit of a palpation of what's going on there. And I can push almost down towards the outer greater trochanter here. So the outside of his, his hip and the outside of his femur and then just have a little bit of a clean through here. So yeah. I've also know that we've got a lot of fascia in this area as well. So when you touch that part of your part of your sacrum, it's not just bone, there isn't just a hole there like we see on bones there. There's actually a deep thoracola, thoracolumbar fascia. So really thick. Um, it's probably the, the thickest and the, the, the strongest part of our fascial system is in this area as well because it needs to um, weight bear a whole lot of forces and a whole lot of, um, whole lot of movement through our lower back. So there's one little maneuver and then I like to go <coughs> maybe a little bit lower to that and just push down and trace. So we're focusing mostly here on the glutes, glute max, most certainly, and just peeling and maneuvering away any of that debris or any of that buildup. But we are gonna go all the way down and into that coccyx as well. I can use my other hand as it, there as well. And just get, yeah, think of me sort of sitting right on the edge of a gutter and then cleaning and clearing the edge of that away. So pushing down and then out. Collecting all that matter, all that tissue, just hydrating it. Really good. Yeah, 
that's good. So what I also like to do is pretty similar with an elbow, is just pin that, not be too forceful, use a sort of more my forearm to begin with rather than the point of my elbow. So forearm to really get a nice connection. And then move that out. So you, this can also be contributing to any like nervy sim symptoms. So if you get like numbness, tingling and that sort of stuff, we have little holes in the uh, sacrum and the coccyx that our nerves run through. And sometimes the muscles get so tight in here that they compress that and that can cause um, some numbness or some tingling down the leg. So pushing into this area is actually gonna help dissolve or melt the tissue that is quite contracted and, and angry in there. So just relieving some of that tension, you're doing more good than, than yeah, you, you, you're even understanding is. So working that, pinning it. <clears throat> and the direction of my stroke, I'm actually gonna go straight down towards the ankle. So if I use my hand up here, get a little bit more leverage. There's not an over amount of wax. Definitely don't use any oil with this treatment just to get a really good grip so we can get like a nice fascial um, release as well. Nice. You been getting any discomfort in here, man, or how's this feeling for yeah, you? Yeah, the, the left hand side is where I've been feeling it. When you're pushing up into there, into that yep. SI, yep. pushing that, that's what it needed just to um, push that over, but yeah, I could feel you clearing the tissue where it was kind of pulling it as well. Yeah. So that's why this is so effective because you're actually releasing, melting that tissue that's like pulling the the things into the wrong spot yep. and it's just agitating in there and it so yep. creates the pain and, and the lack of movement. Yep. So. Yeah, well, what happens is if we get like a massive, it's like a cobweb of um, fascia and, and muscles you saw how many layers there were when they become really tight it, yeah it ends up like a like think of um, fishing line how it can end up in this messy cobweb right so what we're looking to do is unravel that and just dissolve it and melt it because when we're short and tight in here we're, we're going to end up with an externally rotated leg so his leg's going to turn outwards because of all the contracting um, tissues and things that are going on in here short and tight muscles so just pushing into that allows the, the, the mind to go, okay, we can, we can switch off what's overactive and unhappy and just let go of that tension. And that's gonna allow that hip to just sit more neutral and in, in, in that anatomical position. So working into that. So yeah, there's a lot going on, more than just an elbow in his sacrum. And then again, clearing down. There is quite a bit of force, but it's not overdoing it. It's not too invasive. Yeah, it's one of the most common areas that I find myself treating with clients is this area. Lower back, treat the sacrum. Um, hip pain on the outside, hip pain in the front, treat the sacrum. Again, so to get a little bit more you can see that redness, can't you, can't you, Leah? Look at how much yeah, yeah. blood flow we've already started to create. So, <laughs> sorry, Ninja gonna be right next to your crack here, but yeah. we're just gonna get a thumb because there's these perfect little grooves. Come over here, Leah, I'll show you exactly. So, perfect little grooves, look at this, it fits a thumb just perfect, and you can see those little holes where those nerves I'm talking about, and how we can work down, down, <coughs> down, and we can also get all the way into that um, coccyx there. Orange is gonna fall over, is he? Oh. He's having a little man. Nah, he's all good. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna use my left thumb. I'm gonna go similar to that skeleton that we just demonstrated on and just pin that. And yeah, there's, where is it? I can sort of feel, obviously there's tissue there and ligamentous um, t structures through here as well. So just pinning that. It's gonna help mobilize that joint. And just, yeah, eradicate any like, like pain a lot of people get pain in this sit bone as well um, that might be a little bit more here but a lot of people do get discomfort in this area as well so this is sh showcasing how we would treat it just pushing into it getting some movement in there yes it is a little bit more obscure yeah we but that's just the lengths that we go to to make sure we find the spot if you've got pain in quite a i don't know it's it's not the most 
it might be a bit embarrassing to, for you to talk about. I've got pain right next to my bum crack or right in here. Like, that's all right. We're just, we're all humans. We're yeah. all just trying to live a, live a life free of pain and, and movement. So it's all right. We're, we're willing to just, you know, work with your client, work over clothes if we need to or, or leggings or tights. But ninja. Ninja's comfortable with his sexuality. He doesn't mind if I just uh, <laughs> yeah. tuck a thumb right next to his bum crack. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's just the human anatomy. It's, human just, it's, anatomy. it's a big part of what helps us move and um, helps us live our life. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got to have all these different parts of our body functioning yeah. and yeah. working well, and then you, you're fine. So a lot of them are inside your undies. So, yeah, um, yeah we need to kind of... If there's pain there, there's restriction there, we need to go there. Mm. Like Dar said, you can do it through clothes. It's yep. still going to be effective and probably yep. not quite as, but yep. it still can be really effective. And yeah, Without showing you too much of Ninja, you can come and have a little look here, Leo, where, where we are. So right next to the crack and sort of I can feel like this really nice, um, really nice feedback of his bone that I'm on something that's like, yeah, maybe it hasn't been explored in a while. Maybe it's, maybe it's a little bit stagnant in there, and we're just getting blood flow into an area that's, that's stagnant and a little bit, a little bit dehydrated. So yeah, the effects this is maybe going to have on his hamstring, the outer layer of his hip. There's actually a ligament we were having a look at it before. It attaches on to the <laughs> tailbone of your coccyx, so right up under there, and goes into your anus. <laughs> Learn something every day. Go and check it out. What was it called? I can't remember. We'll have to go back and have a look. But yeah, obscure you, you, anatomy. Obs you, obscure anatomy, Nim. You're into it too. Yeah, that's it. It's trending. It's trending. <laughs> probably right where your gooch is, is it? <laughs> we'll just call it your gooch. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a ligament. Mm -hmm. Probably keeps it all intact. Nice. So yeah, we can do both sides. I've sort of had enough of pushing into that. Now I'm just gonna do a few strokes that are out. So what we did there was opened up, opened all that up. Now we're gonna do a few that sort of come, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll come into where Ninja felt it, probably a little bit more relevant. It's almost our money spot. So right on the edge of where our rectors um, attach into, but it's um, what do you call it, Ninja? That uh, overlaying of fascia. You like to you like to the, name the it fascial something. continuum. Yeah, the fascial continuum. So yeah. it's where the fascia continues to overlap and overlay the bone. So yes, our muscles and and tendons may insert there, but the fascia continues. So we're actually hydrating that area there. And Leo, if you want to quickly go show them on the muscular system where we are and how that white matter how thick it is, how dense it is. Yeah, that's it, you're on it now. Exactly, perfect. And it goes all the way in, it continues over that. So using a thumb, but I can also look after my thumbs and chuck an elbow on there as well. So now I'm gonna be using the point of my elbow, pin that point there. Don't have to be really sharp with it, because it can, be quite uh, uncomfortable, but just hold that. And then, yeah, as we said, we're gonna start to pull it away this way again. So peeling any, any debris, any build up. Yeah, and there's not a lot of wax here at the moment. So it is like, I'm finding it a little bit tricky to move, but that's fine. It just means I've got to go slower. So the slower you go, the more thorough and in depth. And um, yeah, the greater, the greater the treatment. If you're skimming over things, you're probably not at a depth where you're really creating long-term change. So when we're into these depths, we're, we're actually helping to, you know, fix people with chronic pain. A lot of chronic pain is at that deeper layer, it's not in the, not in the fascia or the, the surface layers of the tissue. It's really deep into the tendons, into where those ligaments have become, I guess, a little bit dehydrated and, and they've got a, lot of, got a lot of pain attached to them. So just pin that deeper layer, that's fine. Go a little bit slower, sorry if it's not the most entertaining video, but I'm um, actually showing, showing you guys a real life video no, don't worry, no. just do do a real treatment, man. Do and a real treatment. You're, you're the entertainment. 
ninja's enjoying it. You're the entertainment, yeah. man. I want to see what's, what, where it works. Yeah. You know, sort of if you... If you've got pain down there, you don't, you don't want to see someone just getting rubbed. You, know, yeah. you want to see it held and, and worked until it's kind of worked out. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, that's fine, Darth. That's fine. Don't be thinking what think people expect to see. Think, yeah. do what... Do what's real. What's real, what's, what's necessary, yeah. yeah. That's it. So we're following and tracing and moving that along. We better, haven't been having a chat today, nah. Darcy. You fucking all business, Sorry, aren't you? Mate, maybe oh, we'll, you're we'll ruining a video. Another, we'll have to do another video, <laughs> mate. Talk, talk about your, your Gold Coast trip and yeah. yeah, your fun time up there, the sun, the beers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Ninja. Oh, you rugby, oh. rugby league. Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> No, uh, we didn't have time for any of that. Nah, not no. today. We got down to business. <laughs> yeah. We got serious. I'm going to show you another one, how I can hook in and into those deep, deeper external rotators. So it is a little bit more muscle belly here, but we're actually pinning to go down into that uh, sacrum. Whoop, <coughs> slipped a bit there. And then I can feel on the outside of my elbow that I'm actually really well connected into the um into the sacrum there feels connected bro yeah feels connected ah. yeah so there's actually more than just the piriformis there's six external rotators jace did just treat this on me only last friday but we're more focusing on the coccyx today and or the coccyx you've you've got me there ninja ninja <laughs> calls it coccyx and now i'm calling it coccyx and the next thing buddy who knows what it'll be called <laughs> <laughs> cut good. sick on it, mate. Cut sick on the cut sick. <laughs> That's uh, it. That's good. Needs to be done. It needs to be done. It does. Oh. And we're going to go one more. So come out of that, and then we're going to go closer to that coccyx there. Oh yeah. So you don't want to be too forceful. Some people who have fallen, say on some wet concrete or floors or tiles, you've actually um, thrown out the position of this of this um, pelvis or your sacrum. So sometimes there's actually some really, you know, old chronic um, pain or scarring on this area as well. So if you've had a fall, slipped down the stairs, slipped in the shower, I don't know, slipped on some ice or snowboarding and, and fallen on your bum too many times, <laughs> get it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct it. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to um, sink out of that. Oh, well, I hope you guys learnt yourself something. That's a real life treatment on how we focus on the sacrum, the coccyx, and get things mobilized and moving um, to help you perform in life. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you do like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you think. We'll see you for our next video. See ya. Done.